Hi, I'm Jason Mewes, and I love my kids, but I wish they had an on-off switch. <laughs> <laughs> From Wondery, I'm Chris Garcia. I'm Megan Gailey. And I'm Kurt Brown Oler. And this is I Love My Kid, but so Folks, welcome to the show about the struggle of parenthood. Today we're going to be talking about transitions, um, and we're going to have on the wonderful Jason Muse from Clerks, and from Mall Rats, and from Jay and Silent Bob uh, Strike Back. Is it Strike yeah. Back? Yeah. That's it. From I'm Jay excited. and Silent Bob Strike Back. I'm excited to see how his hair is now as a father. Oh, yeah. You, still, you think he's still got the long hair? I, I think I think I, it's beautiful. I oh, bet I, you it oh, is. Oh, no. I bet I'm you it's sure it's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Um, oh, are we going longer than mine? Probably longer than mine, you think? I'm saying shorter than yours. Okay, shorter that's than my, mine. That's my guess. You want to go on over under on I'm it? going longer. All okay. right, five I'm bucks. Long. You want to go five I'll bucks? I'll go five bucks. All right, great. This and is I'm exciting. Ho- I'm hoping he has um, a lob, and it's the exact same length as mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that when he gets here, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to stand next to him and hold your hair out for us to win this bet. <laughs> Producer Adam is trying to communicate with me. Oh, a lob. Oh, yeah, yeah. If people well, listening don't know what a lob is, I'll raise my hand yeah, right now. I don't, I don't know, know what a lob, what a lob is. is. It's is a, it like a bob, but it's, it's a, a little longer? Long bob. There it is. Oh, lob. that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna we like to do something at the top of our show uh, called Circle Time. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one this week. Uh, so Olive, mm-hmm. we're talking about transitions. Mm-hmm. Olive recently changed schools. Yay! Yeah, so she was in kindergarten, and then she changed schools for first grade for a variety of reasons. And let's get into them. <laughs> <laughs> name the schools she left, and name the grievances. It was the principal no. specifically. <laughs> a tough <laughs> job. A tough job. A tough job. A tough job. Truly she she did not do it. You well. could not pay me an amount to be an elementary school principal <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> I'll take out of work striking writer actor any day. <laughs> so we had to decide before the school year was over because that's the way LAUSD does it, um, the public school system here in Los Angeles, and uh, and so we had to d- to make the choice, and it was like a really hard choice for us, and, and then we made the choice, and then we had to let Olive know about it, uh, and we were like trying to figure out when's the best yeah. time to tell her because. We didn't want to like tell her before school ended because then it would be like very emotional for the ending, yeah. and and then we didn't want to tell her right at the beginning of summer because then then you have the whole entire summer to like worry about it, and so we like chose our time, and then like she was getting into bed. I don't even know why we decided to do it right at bedtime, but we did. Because then you were like, maybe she'll fall Just asleep. Fall yeah. asleep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we we let her know, and she handled it very very well. Aww. But as we're like. Um, uh, explaining it to her, she just looked at me, slight tears in her eyes, and just said, I didn't think this is what my future would be. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and it was like, anyway, and Laura, good and, night. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn the light off. But it was that, it was like that heartbreaking moment of like having this be articulated as the first time that life has changed in a way that you did not expect. And it's the also the most uh, succinct way to sum up mm. that feeling that we have, especially as comedians, <laughs> <laughs> which is just constant rejection yeah. and constant, this is not what Zero I expected. Control. Yeah. Zero control over your, over your career and life and where you're gonna live the yeah. next month you or whatever. You just kinda have to be like a crash test dummy in the car. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's barreling towards a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is a good one. And to see these little little brains struggle with transitions, it, it's scary to watch a little bit, and then it's also very frustrating because transitions happen all the time. Like yeah. Transitions from the car to the house are often very difficult <laughs> for us, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, no, I'm gonna stay here. It's like, you're gonna stay in the car. It's a 90 degrees, yeah. you stay in the car, you're gonna stay in the car, I'll get arrested if yeah, you stay yeah. in the car, <laughs> you know? 
Um, but, but as yeah. a kid, that's like one of the most, tra- oh, yeah, it's like kind of traumatizing. I switched yeah. schools a, a couple times and every time, I switched high schools after my freshman year. <gasps> oh, oh my God. And I was like, ah, and I I, cry- I begged my parents to take me oh. back to a terrible high school. I wore a hat like over my eyes. I couldn't see. I, it, was just, it was so oh. difficult and I just didn't want to be there. And I just begged and I pleaded to go back. And at the end of it. Switching schools was the best yeah. thing that happened in my yeah. life, and I'm still best friends with the people I made my sophomore year. Yeah. And it was incredible. But that initial yeah. change is like the hardest thing in the world. Elementary school, same thing. You're like, what am I going to do? I saw this. Uh, do you know Dr. Becky, the uh, mm-hmm. famous oh, influencer? Oh, do I know Dr. <laughs> Becky? Yeah. She's going to be a guest on the show. I was so excited. And she uh, she made some posts the other day about transitions like this. And yeah. she was like, okay, the way you do it is that you just slip it into conversation. You know, you just like you don't you don't do it at a special time. You just or Whoa. when they're having a time with tri- like you just like go, hey, you know. Uh, and so Sunny just switched from um, daycare from one class to another, and so I tried to do this, and yeah, I was yeah. like, hey, Sunny, yeah, you know, so, um, we're you know, uh, when I was. <laughs> I was a sophomore. I switched. So I'm like having a regular like, conversation. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes switching classes is really hard, but you know what? Your same friends are there and it's a different teacher, but you're going to be safe and it's going to be really fun. Anyway, do you want more orange slices? Like I tried to yeah. slip it in and sh- she's two and a half. She doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. She just looked at me and she was like, okay, cool story, Oprah. And just like <laughs> kept on eating dinner. And then we switch classes, and uh, she screams every day. She's been screaming for two Aww. weeks straight. No. The sad truth is that I think kids probably handle change better than we do as adults. Uh-huh. Because it, th- like, she is going to be totally fine. But, like, t- t- telling, like, a grown man to go find a new job, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's they like, buy a gun. Ten, yeah, 10 years <laughs> later, he still has the trauma that he's, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You know, at least they express. That is what it is. It's all that's right now. It's right. going to be uh, all yeah. expressed it immediately. Out, and yeah. then it's like, no, I wasn't ever upset. Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about, Dad. And it's yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, because you you love it here. Yeah. Oh gosh. Have you guys uh, struggled with the idea of transition just from like one activity to the other, or like going to some place and then having to leave that place, like that sort of thing? Yeah, we went to like this concert in the park and uh, Sunny just didn't want to leave. And it was like a lame concert. <laughs> and, and she and you're didn't like, want to be there. This that, band like... sucks, honey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have no talent. We're not staying. <laughs> Pack your things. And she was just kicking and screaming and she and she ran off for the first time. She like darted by this group of like food carts That's and scary. like Ooh. my knee's not all the way great so I can't like run. So yeah. and like I was just like hobbling and trying to chase her, but she just didn't want to leave this place. And then all these families are having a good time, and I just like pick her up, and she's screaming. And then you feel like the, like the terrible parent. Everyone's having a good time, and yeah. you, you know, just feeling judgment when you're like, oh, they're like, look at old Hobbly over here. And then it's just, ugh, it's so tough. And then, but what can you do? You just have to take them while they're screaming, yeah, and put them in the car. And yeah. then, like a hostage, and like a hostage, <laughs> and then just go home. But just small, it could be the smallest thing out of the blue. Any transition could be so tough at this age. When I was looking at Conrad's um, daycare where he is now, that I am trying to somewhat transition him out of because it's too expensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, a, that's a transition I'm trying to make to a cheaper option. Yeah. Um, when I was touring it, they were like, you know, and, and not at Conrad's age, but like the class above, they they meet in the morning in a certain place and then they go around the building. So it's like they eat in a different place. They've got an area where there's like a little shop. Then they've got a theater. And they were like, a, some parents like come in and find out that they're moving around the building and are like, absolutely not like that's not gonna work Uh um but like i would i didn't even like i i I remember nothing from being that age i guess too that you're just like i'm remembering like a nice time i I stepped on a nail in kindergarten because they had just (laughs) finished building it indiana's wild (laughs) loose nails everywhere and and i remember them being like are you okay and i was like yeah i'm totally fine what do you? Uh, I love it here. <laughs> Bandage up my foot. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, but I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm 
we're almost going to get ahead of that he's going to have to be yes. moving Always, because that's sort of it's almost like a high school setup yeah. for little kids oh, where it's like now this is a different classroom over here and and yeah I mean my niece just started middle school and she's got a locker and that's that's probably the change that I remember being so crippling is being from like oh in elementary school you sit in one room mm -hmm. and you have your teacher and then sometimes like a French teacher will come in but when you go to middle school or junior high then it's like you're moving constantly and that just being like so terrifying and getting my period and then being like I'm just gonna be walking around with my period like that was too much for me and that's what's nice about where Olive is now they move around already yeah so they move to three different places and they have three different teachers who teach all different things and I and I think some of that is preparation yeah for middle school and high school which I guess in theory it's supposed to be preparation for life. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cool thing is that Olive is so smart, and she loves school so much, she and she's going to be fine. Well, you know, Thank you. You're welcome. She's Thank such you. a smart kid. The things she articulates, it, like, it I blows my crazy. mind yes. every, too, time. every time. Good, good and harder, because yes. it's like, oh, if she was a dumb dumb, you go, you're going here, and she'd be like, whatever. She's already smarter than me, and it yeah. is terrifying. Um, <laughs> like, she was uh, successfully manipulating me at four. <laughs> like, it would work, and I I'd be like, oh no, why, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Chris. I appreciate you of saying course. And you know what? We're all going to be fine. And that sure. goes out to everybody out there. You're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. It's going to be okay. <laughs> because you could fuck up so much. <laughs> and it's still okay. Yeah. Remember that. Fucking up is normal. Mm -hmm. And we accept you for fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe space. Um, all right. Well, we're going to be right back with the wonderful Jason Muse. You heard him at the top of the podcast. Today's guest, uh, you've seen him on Clerks. Uh, you've seen him on Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. Uh, you've also heard his podcast, Father's Day with Kevin Smith, talking about all things fatherhood. Jason Muse, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I was thinking about the Father's Day. It's a, you know we we did get old uh, podcast mm -hmm. <laughs> together for like eight years, and we did it live, which was fun. It brings yeah. a whole another element. But the Father's Day, we were having fun with it. It was cool because I was able to talk about trying to have a kid, and then we, we started the podcast, and then my wife got pregnant, and then we had the baby. But because he's been in Jersey a bunch, we haven't. We've done like five, and anyway. But uh, so yeah, I was excited about this because I'm like I want to talk more about. Good. These things with my kids that I'm, because I have a, a six month old uh, oh, son wow. oh my and God. I have an eight year old daughter. Oh my gosh. So, oh, nice. I, <laughs> I, I think having a, a podcast that you do not all the time seems very father. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. this is it. We do it when we have time, when we're in the yeah. same place. And otherwise, we got stuff happening. Yeah. Um, congrats on the new baby. I know. Thank you. Thank um, you. When we found out you were going to be on the show, the, the first reaction was like, pure excitement and then also like he's a dad which I'm like <laughs> I'm sure you kind of get in some way you're, you're Yo, yeah. such an iconic um, character at, that's sort of like a young cool guy or like a young like fun dipshit <laughs> and then to go that's a dad now and it's like yeah of course yeah. that's what all, all I, dads were that and I waited I, well I didn't wait my wife's uh, 14 years younger than I am but we waited I was 40 when you know, we had our first. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, when I hit four, I was like, it's my 40th birthday coming up. I was like, we got to start if you're ready to try. And anyway, so yeah, and I waited sort of a while. But yeah, I get I get what you're saying. It's like, I think when people see me, yeah, they're like, snooch to the news. You know, like, <laughs> Let's smoke out. And I'm like, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. At, what, at what age do you teach your kids what snoochy boochy means? <laughs> you know, I've tried to get my eight-year-old to watch because people will come up to me and say it. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, they ask for pictures, and she sort of gets it now why they want pictures. Um, but she'll ask questions. Why did they say snooze to snooze? And I'll be like, well, let me just show you a small clip. Of what it, but she doesn't, you know, I've turned it on for a second. Like, Kevin and I, I thought she would enjoy the mall rat scene where we're in front of the pet store. And I'm like, here, kitty, 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 kitty. But, you know, but we watched like five seconds. She's like, ooh, the cat. She's like, I don't want to watch anymore. Like, uh, so she's not interested in it yet. Um, not that I'd let her watch the whole thing, but I thought I could show her a couple things to get at least an idea of what, you know, what 
people see. How she has a house. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you know? yeah. No, we explain that all the time. That's when I'm leaving town constantly. And she's like, why do you have to leave? You're going to, like, she just, I'm so bummed I had to leave and go to um, Shreveport. Okay. Um, and, but she was, she had been in camp for three weeks practicing cats. The you know oh, the, the, the musical, the musical. Wow. oh my gosh they were performing on that of uh, course I had been home for like two months and I finally uh. like had to go do something and it's the weekend she's performing uh. and she's like why do you have to miss it you always miss my stuff you don't love me I'm like yes I do uh. I'm like you want those new yoga pants then you know <laughs> I gotta go which to the which I'll get into later man the whole like eight years old is such a different world like i thought i had the 13 14 before crop tops and yoga pants and things like that and, and so it already, starts at eight because oh, i have a six-year-old right now oh and i'm just gosh, i'm just yeah. in fear of like the next two years no yeah the, there's something i'm struggling with now i'll go for um, it um she wants to wear bras at eight years old and it, i really didn't think it would be, be so, that so. early and she's not like um you know and i know that there's a rarity i'm sure of, of young girls who are a little ha maybe are starting to grow earlier but it's not about that and she knows it even mm -hmm. she's like i know i don't have anything to like hold up or anything but and i'm like well why do you want to wear it like does it make you feel older does it make you feel cool she's like no i don't want to be cool or anything she's like it's just my shirts are itchy sometimes and when i'm doing a plan on the monkey bar sometimes my shirt comes off up and the boys make fun of me and stuff so it sort of makes sense to me and but she's a manipulator and i'm like <laughs> it, does she really feel uncomfortable that when she's hanging upside down that her shirt comes up or is it because but it's again i just it blows my mind and she really it will not stop talking about it for about three it started about three months ago she oh, mentioned wow. it once and then like a couple weeks later she mentions it again things like that um makeup like again mm -hmm. she doesn't really press on that like every once in a while she'll ask we'll say no um and she'll let it go but it's still these are things i'm like all right i have to at least 12 13 yeah. Hopefully later. Before you got here, we were having this exact yes. conversation oh, okay. yeah. about how traumatized I was that I was encouraged to start wearing one in third grade. And I had two older brothers. So I was oh, eight. Encouraged by your parents? I think by my, yeah. Okay, I think by okay. my parents. I think it, but it was one of those where it was like, I did have, you know, like, I had sprouted. Oh, okay, um, okay. And so I, it was so, I had older brothers. And so my mom would be like, we're, Megan and I are going to take a little detour over to this shop. And then my brothers got to go to like the Nike store. Yeah. And I was like, I want to go to the Nike store. I don't want to go to the Bronx. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, and like, the thing is, it's so case by case. Like, yeah. I didn't want it. Your daughter wants to. Yeah. And, and. Each child is different, and yeah. that's a mind fuck. Yeah, and and again, you, I get what you're saying because I thought like my wife was like, I was like, let's get her a sports bra mm -hmm. for when her shirt comes yeah. up. That makes sense. She wants to cover up, but a sports bra, you know, is a little bit longer. It's almost like a small t-shirt that's tight. And we're like, yeah, we'll buy you some sports bras. So we bought them, and when she got them, she's like, these aren't the ones I want. <laughs> so it's not. She wants the ones like like that are tiny and like she wants a bra. Uh, yeah, a bra bra. And again, it's still it, yeah it blows me away and uh that's definitely something that in a phone she wants she Ooh. wants a oh, phone, phone. Oh, so phone. i don't know but that's another one but again that one like goes back and like it'll happen and then she won't talk about it for a few months because we'll be like no 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 and then all of a sudden something will happen and she'll be like i want a phone i want a phone uh i promise I i'm like well no you you're gonna want to play games and mm -hmm. sit there on roblox and <laughs> Yeah. Roblox for hours, and, yeah. you know. Um, so it's interesting, you know. And That's then we got the other little the guys. Six months I mean, like, because yeah. we were He's just awesome. talking about transitions earlier, yes. and like you've just gone through a massive transition to have just one eight-year-old, then to go to a brand new kid. I mean, like you're yeah. just you're still in the shit, man. Yeah, it's it's that's just I been telling a couple of my buddies. It's like just as I started getting into like, all right, she has school, mm -hmm. and then I drop her off, and then I have six hours to do this, this, <laughs> and this. Then I pick her up and. Bring bring her either to ballet or this or that. Yeah. Now it's like I drop her off and now I go home and hang out with the baby because my wife needs a break to like take a shower yeah. and eat and do this. Um, so, and I was like, I was streaming, after I got into the rhythm, I started streaming uh, on Twitch and I play video games for two, three hours into my break time or whatever and then clean up or do whatever. Um, but not now. Now it's like I yeah. get to play video games for like 30 minutes uh, and then I'm like, you know. And again, it, it's amazing. Like he's starting to just... 
He's so close to starting to crawl. It's Aww. like I forgot all these n- cool yeah. like Little milestones moments. and moments that are awesome. Today, of course, I'm, baby wakes up. I go grab him. My kid, Logan, wakes up, and she jumps oh. in my arms. She's like, you. She loves the, her brother, so but she wants cute. the attention, too. She's like, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you're getting a little big for the, the holding. Yeah, of she's the, tall. Yeah. But for the most part, she loves him and just wants to, like, wakes up and climbs in crib with them and cuddles oh with them and stuff um and it's awesome but uh yeah so but in the beginning it wasn't that when mommy was pregnant she's like i don't want a sibling oh, i don't yeah. want that so oh, yeah that's classic so then i start getting like we start getting nervous like oh my gosh what if she We're tries to like smother away. him or something <laughs> or like i was worried she'd like sneak in his crib yeah. and like smother him and be like oops uh but she lo- she really does love him and uh and thankfully thank you but now the downside is she always wants to pick him up she always wants to like and I get so worried because she's he's getting heavy now yeah. so she'll she'll like sit on the floor like sit on the floor you can pick him up and she'll hold him <laughs> and cuddle him and stuff but then she'll stand up with him and want to walk through the house we're like no 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 no, yeah. no. Yeah. and I'm like that makes me nervous especially because we have two little dogs um, they're puggles, oh. and the, you know, and our they she, they that's love a, us too. Pug poodle. That, that's a pug poodle. That's not pug just beagle. like a miniature pug. Pug beagle. Pug, pug, pug beagle. beagle. Ah. Okay, puggle, I just thought yeah. a puggle just was like a tiny pug, like yeah, this no. big, like no, a, like no. the size of a hamster. But the kid again, Logan loves the dogs. The little baby loves the dog. Right? She he he ain't crawling yet, but like seriously, he'll be like playing with something, and in Jersey, we'll walk by, and he'll be like. Oh. Do, your, do your dog's name you Jersey? Know? Yeah, d- straight up. Yeah, right so yeah, awesome. It's Jersey and Jax. And we yeah. try to keep everything. So it's Logan and Lucian. Oh. And then Jordan and Jason. Uh, we, we didn't plan that. Part, you know? <laughs> he said, I need it to find a started, spouse who's a Jax. Yeah, it started the theme, though. So, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's it's nice. It's a full household there. And the mother in law lives in the guest house, which nice. is, I oh, love. That's amazing. So yeah. much because, again, when we're like, we have things to do and stuff, uh, she comes in and hangs out. And our my kid, Logan, loves her. She goes and spends the night with grandma. Uh, one, at least once a week. Is your mother-in-law good at like uh, boundaries and stuff? Does she walk into the house? Because our mother-in-law was living He's in the back a house casita. for a second, and she would just start saying she would be all the way in the house before she started saying hi. So I started shitting with the door open. So no, to be like, all right, Deb, you wanna you wanna walk yeah, in the yeah. house? You're no, gonna walk into something. She she does walk in, but again, I don't. I feel like I've grown so accustomed to it that like. It doesn't bother me. I feel like we lucked out because even with something as simple as the dogs, like, you know, we, we had to go uh, film something and my wife is business partners with Kevin. She produces, she produced the last like three, four movies oh, Kevin nice. has done. So like the when we've done movies, she'll go out because she's producing and then I've been at like Reboot and Clerks 3 and all that. Um, and so it's nice because we'll bring the kid, but m- the dogs will stay and mo- grandma will watch the dog. Oh, nice. So we don't have to drag the dogs with us and so again there's all these things that I feel like it's super handy if we're out of town plus I don't want to leave the house unattended for like two three weeks mm-hmm. I do I think it's a, like a mother-in-law's dream like a grandma's dream too I know when when we like got our house my parents were like oh we thought there was gonna be a casita and we were mm-hmm. like well we don't really have casita money yet um so if you want that you can because they yeah. They would live build, build the casita. They would yeah. live in the crib with my son. If they, <laughs> you know, like they would my my dad would plug in his CPAP machine and just climb right on into my son's crib. It has infuriated my mom. My mom has oh, become yeah. so jealous that oh. my in-laws are moving in the back. She's like cuz they were like doing construction on it and she's uh-huh. she's like how big is it going to be? Oh, it looks pretty big. Oh, maybe they have room for a third. Oh, okay. Who raised you? That did they raise you? Like she is just yeah. so she's being so petty. Yeah, so yeah. jealous yeah. about it. Um, all right, um, we'll be right back, and we're going to do a little thing we like to call Time Out. Uh, all right, we are back uh, with the wonderful Jason Muse, and uh, we're going to do a little thing called Time Out. Basically, what it is is uh, you put me in Time Out. I got to sit in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you you, you the guys corner. make fun of me. Look at him. Look at him. You have to yeah. listen to us do pickups, yeah. ads, and record another. <laughs> uh, and uh, and we just put take one thing that we're very frustrated uh, about uh, parenting and put mm. it in Time Out. Um, you can go last. We'll all go first. Okay. Uh, anybody first? 
first? I can go first. Sure, Megan. I'd like to put looking for our channel changer in timeout. Yeah. It is, he's, uh, our son isn't even, he's not even hiding it. it. It just loves playing with it. And we have had to find it in under the couch, in the couch, in the kitchen, in the garage, in our cars. <laughs> like, I found it at the bottom of a laundry basket. And it's like, sticky. It's always oh, sticky, oh, it's too. Oh, sticky. Oh, it's and, and we have, like, four remotes. Because there's, like, a TV outside. Then there's a remote that I'm like, I don't even think we ever used I this. love that there's a TV. You lead with there's a TV we outside. We had to. It's my... It is my white trash dream to have a TV outside. And I'm like, I'm going to watch the Indianapolis Colts be so bad (laughs) out on my fucking deck like a princess. Oh, wow. That's awesome. (laughs) Does it have a little cup? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So uh, we have um, a retractable awning. Now we're really getting in the weeds into all the things that (laughs) I needed. We have a retractable (laughs) awning. And then they have outdoor TVs and they're way more expensive. I said, nope. Once a comedian didn't want me to cancel him and he gave me a TV, a soundbar, and a Google Nest and so that TV is hanging outside my house. Yeah. <laughs> and Don't I was, bring that shit in your I house. I was never going to cancel him. I yeah. was like so low on the bad things that have been done to me by male comedians. But, but what I was do you like, mean by cancel? cancel he me. thought I was going to like go public with something terrible he'd done to oh. me. And I was like, oh no, we're like totally good. You're not yeah. even in my top 20 of men I hate. No, I would have taken this stuff and then I would have been like, you know what, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is only a 75 inch I was thinking 90 (laughs) Uh, Chris I'm gonna put talking to the babysitter when you come home from date night on time out ugh Val and I, uh, we work very hard. We're very devoted parents, but date night is fucking rum spring. Uh, we yeah. just like, we drink like a thousand <laughs> snookies at like an open bar at an ex's wedding. You know, we just like go for it. And then we come home and just like goblin mode. Like we, we go wild for four hours and we're like, oh, we have to come home and talk to the sitter. And so we're always like outside of the front door being like, you talk to her. No, you talked to her. I talked to her last time. No, you talked to her. Her, and then I always talk to the sitter, and I'm. It's like I'm at a fucking DUI che- checkpoint or something. I'm like, mm, yeah, uh, every, uh, yeah. I don't know. Hello, no, hello, hello. I'm Mr. Chris. Uh, yes, I have nothing to see here. <laughs> and uh, and uh, have you ever had one where they have to call an Uber, and so you're just waiting for like, and now yes, now Uber that- takes like 15 minutes every single time. Uh, yeah. So it's just like sitting there making weird. <laughs> I'm drunk and they're sober and it's so strange. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put grocery stores on a timeout. I'm fu- I'm fucking done. I am done with all the different grocery stores that I need to go to. I have to go to three grocery stores in order to get all the things that the kids will eat. And it's like, I don't, and you have to go, I don't know why, but we have to go every week. It's like, no matter how much fucking food we buy, (laughs) it's, I have to go every week because there's some critical thing that's missing and I have to go. And so you have to go to like Trader Joe's and Costco and to like one other place. Yeah, like a regular one. Like a regular one. Um, So I'm done with that. How much shopping you have to constantly do. All Jason. right. Um, I, I mean, I think this counts as, um, you know, is being woken up in the middle of the night by my daughter because I put her to bed and she still wakes up once or twice in the middle of the night, comes into my room and like shakes me <laughs> or opens my eyes like this <laughs> and says, Daddy, and I have to get up, walk her to her room and lay with her until she falls asleep again. Uh, and then I'll get up and go in my room and then I'll hear the baby crying. Uh, so that wakes me up. Then I go back to bed and then she'll come in. But I don't mind that because I'll sort of, sometimes the wife will wake up and get the baby and I'll tune out and I won't even hear necessarily. <laughs> but my but the eight-year-old don't let me stay asleep. Yeah. So um, I would say her getting up in the middle of the night and grabbing me out of bed. I'm going to put that on a timeout. That, yeah. that counts, right? right? That All totally right. counts. All right. All right. Um, well, Jason, thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you. As a, as a Jersey boy, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very proud of you. Um, <laughs> is there anything you want to plug before you go? Oh, uh, the, 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 yes. You know what? We are doing, uh, I'm very excited about uh, Kevin and I are doing a cruise. Oh, wow. yeah. Nice. So February 23rd to the 26th, uh, we're going to be, uh, 2024, we're going from Miami to Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, it's going to be three days, and we're going to be, we have all these events going on those three days. 
Uh, Kevin and I are doing our podcast, Jay and Son Pop Get Old. Uh, he's doing, he has like five other podcasts. Yeah. He does Hollywood Babylon with Ralph Garman and and that we're going to have uh, a bunch of live music. Soul of Sodom from the Clerks. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Um, we're going to have a disco. We're going to have, a, uh, we're going to be having poker tournaments. Uh, we're going to be doing meet and greets. Brian O'Halloran will be there. Jeff Anderson, Dante Randall from Clerks, uh, Jason Lee and Ethan Suplee yeah. um, will be there. It's uh, Jay and Son Pop Bob, cruisesq.com to get tickets. Nice. Hell or yeah. my Twitch. I also twitch.tv forward slash J A Y Muse. J Muse. Um, I stream every most days anyway and play games and do Q and A's uh, and all that stuff. So um, sweet. Yeah. Well, thank you, buddy. Oh my God, that was so fun. He is like. I can't believe we were like he's a dad. I mean, he's a dad. Yeah. Wow. Like he's in straight the, up dad. In yeah. the best in the best way. So proud. Yeah. Like, the first the first parent to show us their picture. That was the first oh, parent. He was, yeah. he was gushing. Was amazing. I know. <laughs> like if if CJ ever comes on yeah. and I'm not here and he doesn't take out his phone to show you guys pictures, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh. <laughs> Uh, now the bar is there, fathers. Yeah. The bar is there. Also, I owe you $5. Yeah. 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 His mm. hair was very short. His uh, hair was just like a short hair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would not have reckoned. If I saw him on the street, I would not be like, oh, there's Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. And maybe that's by design. I think so. <laughs> uh, listen, folks, uh, if you have your own Circle Time story, you can call us at 424-570-KIDS. That's 424-570-KIDS. Or email it to us at ilovemykid at wondery.com. Give us your story or just vent, you know, but make sure you start it with, I love my kid, but, and maybe we'll play it on the show. And we actually have a voicemail to play for you right now. I love my kid, but last week I took her to a, uh music and puppet show at the local library. Uh, we sat down in the front row. She's about two years old. She pulled a piece of dental floss out of her pocket and <laughs> flossed her teeth in the front row for an hour. What? I don't know if that's some kind of weird heckling for this poor performer or if this is just her newest obsession, but she's something. <laughs> First off, I... Love your kid. Yeah, yeah. wow. I mean that I don't That's I, advanced. Yeah. If I, I showed floss. if I showed my children floss, they would be like, How can I cut myself on this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I put this in my butt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, when she said pulled it out, I was like, What's oh. she gonna say? Yeah. And then yeah. she said pocket and I was like, oh. she was just holding yeah. it. Floss? I definitely thought she pooped it out. Like I thought there was like <laughs> And then to fl- to like ca- her, yeah to know what to do I mean I love it I think we've got a future Olympian level dentist yeah is yeah. that a thing yeah also uh, don't worry about the puppeteer no because yeah. they perform for the worst audiences in the world. <laughs> There's a child who's actually sitting there. That puppeteer is yeah. nailing it yeah. as far as puppeteers are concerned. If we were doing a club and someone was <laughs> flossing in the front row for an hour, I mean, hopefully a viral crowd work video is coming out of that. <laughs> but yeah, good on you. Especially you're going to you're going to puppet shows at your local library. Your great kid, mom. Your kid knows how to floss. You are doing a great job. All right, Kurt. You're a man of the world. I'm a man of the world. Where are you going to be funny next? Here we go. If you would like to come see me do stand-up or uh, do some uh, podcasting with my other wondery podcast, Bananas with Scotty Landis, uh, here's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be in Atlanta and Raleigh uh, at the end of September. Then I'm going to Richmond, Baltimore. Brooklyn, right in the middle of November. And then at the top of December, I'm at Philly, baby. (laughs) You can find all my dates at KurtComedy.com. That's Kurt with a K, comedy with a C. Well, thank you so much for listening to another episode of I Love My Kid, but I'm Kurt Brownoller. I'm Chris Garcia. I'm Megan Gailey. And remember, no matter what you do, your kid will eventually resent you. So many.